Welcome back to Philippines Uncut. I'm Buddy Kunana. Tonight's topic is IT security. And joining us still is uh, Nap Castillo, and he is the regional pre sales consultant of a company called Fortinet International Incorporated that's protecting many banks and public institutions from hacking worldwide. So, Nap, welcome back. This is our last and final segment. Now, let's go back again now to personal, personal concerns of consumers. How safe, are, how safe is social media? Let's say, or free, free email, like in Gmail, uh, Yahoo, Hotmail, and then Facebook, of course. Lahat naman tayo nasa Facebook na ngayon. Yes. Oh. Uh, actually, um, we are at the mercy of uh, these uh, famous websites, no? like the Gmail, because they store everything, like our username, password. Uh, all we need to do is to check the credibility, or is there any history of this specific uh, provider um, leaking out information or using uh, this information mm. to get uh, personal identifiable information from the user. But, but are, are these like Gmail, Hotmail, uh, are, these, are we safe with them? I mean, as an IT, as an IT specialist. Well, uh, I can say... Are they, can they be hacked easily? No, in terms of hacking, mm. uh, it's not, uh, they cannot be easily hacked you know, because their uh, platform are secured. Okay. You know? And uh, they, they have a big network, no? You cannot easily penetrate uh, big networks or you cannot easily bring down big okay. networks, okay. no? But uh, we have uh, some uh, histories or information that uh, some of these big companies are being used by like the NSA to provide or to get information, especially those people that NSA is trying to... Sure, to sure, sure. I mean, yeah. the NSA is the, the most powerful uh, commu spy communication agency, yes, the right. National <laughs> Security Agency. Okay. <laughs> si Snowden nga, di ba? Came from the NSA, mm, Edward correct. Snowden. No? Yes, so, yes. How about Facebook? How safe are we with Facebook? Well, for Facebook, uh, the problem with, face with Facebook is, there, is that there are lots of uh, uh, posts that uh, seems to be uh, infected, no? Really? Yes. Oh. Like, for example, uh, whenever there is uh, um, very uh, big news, mm. like, for example, during yung Robin Williams' uh, yes, death, no? death etc. You, you can see some posts uh, related to Robin Williams, no? And uh, uh, out of our curiosity, no? you, you click. Yes, yes, you will try to click, no? But then after clicking the link, no, but he has permission. No, na yes. like mo siya or yes. to install yes. something. Yes, yeah, I've seen that. You, oh, yes, oh. to install something. Yes. And uh, these uh, applets or, or uh, small uh, programs to be installed can contain uh, malicious uh, oh, information. Again, again, you know, again, there's so, only so much that companies like you can do. It comes down really a lot of times in this case. It's a human error, human dimension, diba? Kailangan yeah, tayo mismo, but, tayo. but having a security solution in place, like mm. for example, our uh, FortiGate uh, Next Generation Firewall, uh, can help safeguard your, the network users. Yes. Even if they click these malicious links, no, the FortiGate Firewall... Will intercept that. Yes, can oh. stop okay. the infection or uh, prevent the user from visiting the link, no? Do because you guys have uh, products for consumers? Because I, I know you guys cater to big institutions. How about on the consumer level? Yes. Ako gusto ko eh. <laughs> okay, yeah, we, we, we do have this uh, 40 client. Yeah. We call it 40 client. It is basically um, um, next generation security for mm. uh, your computers. No? And, uh, devices as well? Yes, okay. even Android and okay, Apple okay, devices. Okay. You can uh, enable the parental control. Nice, uh, security. Nice. Yes, for your yes. kids not to visit uh, malicious 40 websites. Gate, Forty gate. Forty client. Forty client. Yeah, okay. Yes, that is specific client. for uh, uh, devices like Very your nice. laptops. Okay, a lot of us say use, you know, as much as possible human nature. We don't like to spend for things. No? So you, a lot of us, guilty as included, <laughs> uh, free, free, free antivirus, free uh, things like that. Yes, right? I, I, I use that. Yeah. How effective are these? I mean, and of course, you will re recommend 40, uh, I mean, 40 client. No? But how are these effective, these free ones? Yeah, you can actually uh, see uh, some independent research firm uh, okay. reports yeah. and uh, analysis yeah. against these, uh, uh, for these uh, security solutions available in the market. Okay. And these reports even have their uh, comparative analysis uh, between competing products 
that provide uh, the same. We're talking about the, the free ones. The yes, free, the free ones okay. and uh, those uh, products that can also be bought commercially. What edge or what advantage does Forty Client, your product, have? Well, uh, our Forty Client, uh, the antivirus is uh, certified by uh, Virus Bulletin. Okay. So meaning we meet the we met the criteria okay. of uh, uh, the Virus Bulletin uh, to make sure that the solution is uh, effective mm. and uh, do what I it is designed to do. Okay. Yeah. But, but uh, let's say, um, what, what, uh, what advantage do you guys have over the mga, you know, mga free, free uh, software, free antivirus? Well, uh, actually, uh, our 40 client, yeah. yung uh, endpoint computer uh, security solution, we also have a free version. Okay, no. all right. Uh, which, which, which I can download. Yes, okay. you can try to download okay. that www.fortyclient.com. Okay, free. You can, okay, you can download the free okay. one right. and install it on your computer at home. No, then you Pero can. Pero naman yun. Sorry? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's, it's very it's, useful. It's good, but it's yes, because okay. it already comes with the firewall. Uh, it already comes with antivirus software. All right. And uh, the good thing is it also has the parental control. Okay. No, good, uh, right. I mentioned earlier. You can uh, help protect your child to visit. Okay, but but well, what yung, yung free nyo, your free software and the ones you have to pay for. What is the difference? Well, the the one that you need to pay for is uh, designed for enterprise customers. Uh, okay, wherein right. uh, this uh, commercial version or okay, the paid version okay. uh, has other or more uh, features. So for for consumers, private home use, the forty client uh, free, free version, version. What would be. Yes. Would be okay now for our use. I mean, you know, we're just really to protect our, 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 our you know, if there are any kids around or against, Correct. as I said, malware or, or phishing Correct. emails and things like yeah. that. Okay, good, good. 40 clients. So, guys, remember that 40 client. Very good, very good product. All right. Now, another word which you mentioned earlier in the show, and I want to talk about this because a lot of us experience this term, uh, have experienced this term, have heard of this term, network downtime. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Ako personally, I'm experiencing this, this network downtime. Network downtime word now, and according to you, a lot of this, a lot of times that there is this network downtime message from our providers, our ISPs, whatever, you know, it is a result of hacking. Is this uh, how how common is this? Uh, not all, no, um, okay. but uh, most uh, downtimes, no, yeah. especially um, dun sa mga uh, online websites, no, like uh, online banking or even your. Uh, internet connection at home. Yes, no? yes. Um, the cause of downtime is, is because of uh, attacks coming from uh, different networks. Like uh, I experienced, we experienced uh, downtime like uh, mid of uh, August. No? And uh, based on my uh, investigation, this was uh, caused by massive denial of service attacks towards this uh, specific calco. Okay, I have a question. What possible gain? I, okay, you, someone hits a bank and, and they want to get financial information, they want to get money. No? Yeah. But uh, let's say you hit uh, a, a, an internet service provider or a telco, what possible gain will that have for someone? Well, or a that group? damages the reputation of the telco. So it's an attack really on the, on the company. Yes, correct. Para to bring the company down, to, yes. to damage the company's reputation. Yes, correct. Wow. <laughs> now, I'll tell you why, okay? I'm, I'm now with an ISP. Okay, and uh, in, in my home, and for one week. That's why I know this term, network downtime, because that's the only thing they've been telling me. Network downtime for one week, apparently. Okay. Yun nga. So, you know, I mean, that's the only, that's the only uh, response I've been getting, network down for a week already, imagine. It's going on more, a week and a half, as of today. But uh, I think your case is really a network downtime. Yeah. No, Kasi <laughs> yung, yung mga uh, attacks oh. no, can, cannot... Uh, uh, stay for very long. Ah, okay. Yeah. Right. Normally, right. it happens for around uh, three to five minutes. No, you will ah, experience okay. uh, some <laughs> abrupt uh, disruptions oh. on your oh. internet connection. Oh. So, ganito mahabang downtime. Talagang yeah. ano na yan, that's, uh, that, that, that can be related. Le legitimate to downtime na yan. <laughs> Yes, correct. Okay. okay. <laughs> okay. Now, uh, a question for you: Can can this battle against hackers be won? Yes. Because uh, I mean, like, uh, is anyone even? I mean, let's say. It's, as you said, this group anonymous, very hard to track them down, very hard to identify. How do you prosecute them? How do you catch them? Well, um, there are several ways, no? but uh, attackers also have their uh, own way to hide their identity. Uh, there, were, there are some techniques like what we call IP spoofing. Mm. Um, an attacker can use a different uh, identity or IP address okay. no? 
like for example if i'm going to la to launch uh, an attack towards a specific individual i can use your mm. uh, identity i can use your ip information wow yeah so that wow. uh, to 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 mislead the so they'll think it's me the authorities so yeah. they'll think it's me correct wow correct. wow but uh, uh, the key thing here is to prevent mm. uh, attacks no yung ika nga uh, uh, prevention is better than of cure of course well, yeah. an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure yes correct. tayo sa pilipinas kasi sa america we know the fbi has a cyber account uh, counter whatever no i mean they're, they're high tech dito sa pilipinas i know kasi the nbi has its own cyber division yes uh, so and, and the pnp how equipped i mean frankly speaking how, how equipped are these guys to 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 deal with with these threats i mean you guys in the private sector obviously you you're, you guys are at the top of your game but how about uh, can you speak on the i mean of your 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 own view of what of our own capability as oh, you know, uh, government's capability uh i'd rather not comment on that <laughs> <laughs> okay that speaks volumes okay okay uh, that speaks volumes all right right so okay let's go back to tracking hackers so let's say uh, uh how can you track i mean like people like you how do you track hackers i mean oh. i mean these guys can be in let's say in finland or or they can be in russia i mean how do you track them well, uh, there are uh, tools that you can uh, use to attack, uh, to crack these hackers. No, uh, Fortinet uh, also provides uh, intuitive logs mm. uh, for those attacks that are happening on the network. But the problem is um, the laws uh, in between these countries are different. No, mm. and sometimes mm. you cannot uh, prosecute an attacker residing in a specific country yes, because yes. your law does not apply to them yes, and yes. vice versa their law also not applies of to course, you of course of okay? course so but you have uh, an information mm. that this attack is coming from this specific individual mm. so maybe um, it's a long uh, discussion but basically uh, what you can do is just to prevent them yes. from gaining access to your networks again Yes. Yeah. IT industry. I mean, what is your view on, let's say, our own legislation here? Because we're talking about laws now against uh, against cyber cr crime, cyber theft. What is your feeling about what's happening here? You know, atin situation in the Philippines. Well, with, actually, uh, with our laws, huh? Yeah, in the Philippines, we have existing laws mm -hmm. to safeguard uh, personal information, uh, specifically RA or Republic Act 10173, mm -hmm. or uh, uh, known as. Um, uh, Data Privacy Act of uh, 2011. All right, all right. And uh, this law uh, mandates the National Privacy Commission, headed by the Privacy Commissioner, to ensure that uh, government agencies as well as uh, private sectors are complying mm. to what is stated on the law. Yes. Like uh, providing adequate uh, safeguards to protect. Uh, personal information from being stolen mm -hmm. and uh, this law uh, even mandates the commission to to make sure that the country Philippines okay. is uh, complying with the international uh, data protection uh, policies such as uh, those identified or implemented by PCI DSS or payment card industry uh, data security standards uh, that's another interesting uh, point. Right? How, how how safe is it to send to to, to buy online? Because uh, you, you know to purchase online, PayPal uh, and all the are these safe to use? Uh, yes, because uh, basically uh, PCI DSS yeah. uh, is um, uh, formed to protect uh, from uh, 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 payment card uh, yeah. information stealing. No? Okay. Um, they 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 provide. Um, procedures yeah. and the uh, security assessment uh, uh, requirements uh, for companies or like uh, the financial institutions, the provider, the issuer, the uh, service provider like Mastercard, Visa, uh, American Express, JCB, yeah. to comply with uh, these requirements. What is, what is your advice to people who like to buy online? What is your advice to them? Let's say who make online purchases. What is your you know, well, uh, some do's that they, they, that they should do. First, uh, of course, uh, buying online is, uh, I can say, safe as long as you are using the secured protocol. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, make sure that the website is providing valid certificates 
and using a secured protocol. Uh, but I, I advise the users not to store this uh, credit card information. Some, a lot of people do. Okay. Yes. There yeah. are, example, Amazon, no? Sa, sa, sa shopping cart mo, minsan, it's, it's there already. Na you just add na lang and then it's, it's there. It's all there. Yeah. No need to put it in. Kasi minsan nakakatama, eh. Oh, oh nakakatama talaga. Ang haba nun, eh. Yes, correct. <laughs> the digits, uh, expiration date, whatever, no? But it will be safer if you don't uh, store this uh, information okay. uh, on the server. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Because if someone can, get, can penetrate that, if the server it, uh, gets compromised, no, mm. uh, this information will uh, can be uh, uh, stolen by the attacker. Interesting, interesting. <laughs> well, um, how about plans for Fortinet? Any major plans for or, or, or new launches that we expect for the rest of the year? Well, uh, what is your company up to now? What, what are the major activities? Well, Fortinet uh, is uh, a founding member of uh, uh, Cyber Threat Alliance, nice. uh, formed to. Uh, ensure uh, security among uh, the customers. No, we we collaborate with uh, other major uh, security vendors to share information and uh, uh, to help mm. uh, battle against this uh, cyber crime. Very good, no? very good, very. Good. I mean, talaga kailangan magtulungan talaga. Yes, correct. You guys are up against. I said earlier, you guys are up against. Very talented, very smart guys as well. No? Yes. So you got to yeah. pull your resources and, and your talents together, no? Uh, not before we go, uh, pleasure to have you, but would you like to say something to the audience before you go? Well, um, for uh, security, no, we need to, to make our due diligence to identify uh, which are suspicious and not. We uh, need to um, uh, at least uh, educate or, uh, or make our own research on uh, what are the uh, current uh, threats no? uh, on the internet. And uh, as you rightly said earlier, I mean, you guys can provide all the anti-virus, anti-malware solutions, but at the end of the day, it also falls on the person himself to look after his own welfare, yes, and to be correct. smart, to be, you know, to, to be aware, to be right. informed, no? Yes, yun, and yun to, yun be careful, no? to be careful. To be careful. You're actually your first line of defense. Yes, correct. Kaya tumutulong lang kayo. Yes. We only provide complementing uh, security nice. solutions. <laughs> very well put. Nap, thank you very much. Thank I, you very I had much. had a good Andy. talk. Thank you very okay. much. <laughs> Guys, I hope you had, uh, uh, you had a good time tonight and learned a lot about IT security with Nap uh, Castillo and, of course, Fortinet. Join us again next year in the show where we talk about matters to you guys because you guys matter the most. I'll see you next week. <laughs>